All right, so before we get into the main topic of this video, which is, you know, which uh, units you guys should consider buying with your Memorial Dragonstones, I just wanna quickly say, what the hell, Bandai? I mean, 150 Memorial Dragonstones for one unit is just ridiculous. Like, that's just dumb. It doesn't make any sense. And I actually thought that they would have learned from last year where there was this huge backlash, right? Like, a lot of people complain about the fact that it was just too expensive, it made no sense, and I actually gave them some credit, you know, I thought like, yeah, they are probably going to reduce the price, you know, make it like at least a hundred maybe per unit, but even that seems a little bit high, so maybe 50 would be more reasonable, and uh, no, they did not reduce the price, and not only did they not reduce the price, but they also gave us a different Memorial Dragonstone, this is the second Memorial Dragonstone with the little two banner, right, so that means if you had leftover stones from last year, you can't even collect them and use them all at once for, you know, like a future celebration. So, yeah, um, I don't want to turn this into a rant video because obviously I came here to give some advice, but it's hard to not just like get that out of the way first because <sighs> I don't get it, man. Like, why? Why is it 150 stones? I mean, if they made it, maybe kind of tiered, you know, like maybe 150 for the category leads and then 100 for the older category leads, like the new ones are maybe 150, the older ones are 100 and then maybe 50 for the 120 leads and then, I don't know, like 20 or 30 for the super, super old EZA units, maybe that would be more justified, but right now it's just 150 per unit, man, like it just, I hate it, I really hate it, um, but anyways. Uh, I guess my first advice to anybody watching is that 99% of you guys should probably just uh, convert your Memorial Dragonstones to tickets and do your summons and try to get, you know, some uh, maybe LRs, obviously some of these units, and just test your luck that way because the, the one unit is not really worth it for the 150 stones when you can get three, you know, 50 unit multis and probably get... Uh, more useful stuff out of those tickets, right? And while I'm saying that, I just realized that most of you guys probably can't even use the advice I'm about to give because you don't have 150 Memorial Dragonstones, right? Like, no free-to-play player should have that many unless you saved a bunch from the year before and, uh, you know, like, saved a bunch of stones and then spent them within the last 12 months, then maybe you'll have 150, but, like, 95% of free-to-play players won't be able to get that many Memorial Dragonstones. So this video, I guess, is really only for the pay-to-play players. So, uh, yeah, just a stupid move, man, from Bandai. I mean, like, <sighs> anyways, um, moving on to the main topic. Okay, so I'm here to give some advice, right? Like, go through the, the pool here, talk about which units I feel like are actually worth the 150. Um, I don't really think any of them are actually worth 150 because, once again, ridiculous price, but if you had to buy a unit, if like you had most of the pool and you just really want a specific unit and you don't want to leave it up to chance, then um, two units I'll point out right now that I think are absolutely at the top of the heap are the STR Cooler, who is still one of my favorite TURs, one of the best TURs in the entire game. This STR Cooler is still a monster. Uh, just. A lot of fun to use, but also just really, really powerful, so I think he is an easy choice right there. And then we also have the tech uh, Gohan that transforms into Ultimate Gohan, and he is just a killer in any like long events. I mean, even short events though, even like events where you're not able to stack as many times, uh, he's still going to be very, very good defensively, so uh, those two I think are probably 1A, 1B. I mean. I think the one you choose depends on like which one you can get the more use out of, right? Like if you have a better pure Saiyans team, or sorry, a uh, better hybrid Saiyans team, then maybe go for this guy. If you have a better uh, Terrifying Conqueror slash Wicked Bloodline team, and also we are about to get some upgrades to the Wicked Bloodline category, so maybe the cooler makes more sense for right now. It's up to you. I think like these two are pretty much on the same level. But uh, after that, why don't we go through 
each type individually and I'll just highlight a few units within each of the typings. So starting with the AGL units, um, let's see. I think the only ones that are really like worthy of all those Memorial Dragonstones would be Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who I know is a 120 lead, and maybe it's a better idea just to buy him with uh, red coins, possibly. But if you really, really want him, and you have a team for him, he is so powerful, man. Him and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku are just uh, ridiculously powerful after the EZAs now, so um, if you're able to EZA them, if you have a team for him, then I think this guy is a good pick. Uh, the Bardock also, the AGL Bardock is still very, very powerful. And, um, Gogeta maybe. Gogeta's kind of like on the on the edge, I would say. Like, he has aged okay. You know, he's fairly old at this point, but he's aged okay. His damage is still pretty good. Uh, his defense is not the best, but he does have the dodge chance, so he kind of makes up for it with that. Uh, but I think he's still quite good. I just think that he has, you know, aged a little bit, right? So these three, probably Vegeta first. Or maybe Bardock and Vegeta like around the same, and then Gogeta a little bit lower. Um, outside of those guys, I think this dude is probably going to get an EZA relatively soon, because obviously the Freeze is getting one, so I think they'll probably give this guy an EZA. And also this guy probably is uh, in line for an EZA probably within the next like six months. So maybe these guys will be much better, but for the time being, they're not good enough, I feel like, for the Memorial Dragonstones. So... I would say these three, and then for the extreme side, uh, honestly, on the extreme side, I wouldn't pick up any of these guys for the cost, once again. But, I mean, as, out of the, uh, you know, extreme HL units, I really like the uh, Super 17. Uh, this guy is fairly underrated. He's pretty good on Android's theme. And then we have the uh, Rosé, who is quite a good extreme support and he can get some good defense after he takes some hits but it takes him a little bit of time to build up um he's not my favorite but he's he's decent he's decent so yeah for agl i would say yeah super saiyan 4 vegeta bardock uh gogeta and then maybe super 17. so those would be the ones that i would look at if you're looking for an agl unit now for the tech ones uh, obviously, Gohan, easy choice. Uh, I would say Trunks is uh, very good too because they have a very similar function. Obviously, the uh, Gohan is better, but the Trunks is also a really good defender in longer events. And then... Uh, nobody else from the Super side outside of these two. For the Extreme side... Uh, I mean, okay... The, the Frieza is about to get an EZA, and his EZA looks very, very good. So, um, I would say if you don't have any copies of him, the thing is, I think he's probably going to be on the Frieza banner, uh, the Dual Dokkan Fest banner. So, maybe summon on that first and see if you can pull him there. And then, if not, then he's possibly a candidate for consideration just because, yeah, his EZA is very, very powerful. And uh, for the Int guys, we have. UI Goku, for sure. Definitely a good choice there. And uh, I would say he's still very good. Um, and maybe just those two. I mean, Gotenks can be useful for uh, Connected Hope, uh, GT, LGE specifically. I mean, he's just a good fusion unit for sure. So uh, I would potentially pick him up if you guys don't have, uh, already have these two units, the, the Goku and the uh, Gohan, but it's really these two units that I would even consider. And then for the extreme side, I wouldn't use my stones on any of them. Obviously, Janemba's still good, but you can buy him with a red dragon stone. So if you guys didn't have uh, Int Janemba, you should have picked him up with the red dragon stone. And then for STR, we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Easily, easily the best one here. And then, uh,. I mean, these two, you can pick up with the Red Dragon Stone if you want. Jiren is uh, a little bit dated. Uh, yeah, I would say just Super Saiyan 4, 4 Goku for the Super STR side. For the Extreme STR side, obviously cooler, easy, uh, easy pick. And then... Uh, who else here would be deserving? Nobody. I mean, not to say like Omega is quite good. Uh, Janemba is quite good. 
but worthy of the 150? Nah, not really. And then for the uh, Fizz units on the super side, I would say Petito Blue, uh, although you can buy them with a purple Dragonstone, so maybe do that if you ever pay to play. And then, um, why is the Piccolo listed twice? <laughs> That's kind of weird. I just noticed the Fizz Piccolo is here twice. Um, yeah, may maybe Beerus. Yeah, Beerus is kind of like on the edge too, so I would say Vegito Blue number one, and then Beerus as a secondary consideration here. And then for the extreme side, I would go Cooler number one, amazing easy A, and then uh, possibly Broly. Yeah, Broly is still very useful for farming purposes for Super Battle Road. Uh, or rather, um, World Tournament. I mean, Super Battle Road, he can do okay, but his defense is kind of lacking. Uh, so these two, cooler for sure, though. So, I guess to reiterate, at the very top, like Z tier, is Gohan and Cooler. And then below that, uh, on the like S tier, I guess, or whatever, if we're doing a tier list, I would put uh, the Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um... Bardock would be there, uh, Cooler would be there, and then probably Trunks, UI Goku, like Tech Trunks, UI Goku, and maybe that would be the Z tier. And then the tier below that, you know, you would have some units like Gogeta, the Int Gogeta, AGL Gogeta, uh, Is Broly, um, Vegito Blue. Although Vegito Blue might be on, in the S tier. I don't really know. I'm just like kind of making this tier list off the top of my head right now. But the point is, there are very few units you should really consider with the 150 stones just because of this ridiculous price tag. And just, you know, once again, like I think most people should buy uh, tickets with their Memorial Dragon stones, just convert them directly into tickets. Um, don't try to save them because probably next year we'll get a Memorial Dragonstone 3 and then these ones will become obsolete anyways. So, um, you know, you can't really just like save up over the course of multiple years, which is also stupid. But, um, yeah, guys, that is, oh, I forgot about Transforming Frieza. I would say Transforming Frieza probably in that like second tier. Maybe, maybe he's Z tier. I haven't used him. That's the thing. Like I've seen his details on paper. I made a video about a video about it, so feel free to go check it out if you guys haven't seen it. But um, he's looking very promising. That that easy is looking very promising. So he could be like a Z tier pick right now. Um, I might have forgot about some other units. Maybe like someone that is you would consider like top top tier that I haven't mentioned. If that's the case, then that's my bad. But um, yeah, guys, maybe go for one of those units that I talked about. But for the most part, you should just get, you should just get tickets, because this is, this is, this is dumb. But hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I know, I know some people are still going to want to buy units with their Memorial Dragonstone, so that's why I made this video, just to help those people a little bit. But uh, I'm still, as you can tell, I'm still upset, man. I'm still mad. Like, last year I made a rant video um, just talking about how terrible this choice was for, for, for them to set the price at 150 for every unit. And that video, unfortunately, is still relevant to uh, to this day because they didn't make any changes. They just stuck to their guns, right? They stuck to their guns and they were like, it's 150, that's the price. If you don't want to pay it, then, then screw you, right? So uh, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out